Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Callum's Reef Tank on Thinking Reef. So today what we're doing is we have purchased some new corals. Yay, which is always a really exciting day. So today we've bought some from Charterhouse Aquatics, which is supplied by Eco Marine. And we are just drip acclimatizing them to put them in our tank. So yeah, so a couple weeks ago, Christmas, I was giving some vouchers and stuff for Charterhouse. I had brought in, done dry, uh, putting it towards some lights, but I got impatient and decided to buy coral with it, as you do. Um, so yeah, got talking to, to the guy on the new Charterhouse livestock chat on Facebook um, from Ecomarine who was very, 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 very helpful actually. Um, so he decided to send me over a load of photos of stuff that he had. He was very accommodating. Um, I'm assuming it's a he, it might be a she. And they, um, yeah, they, they sent me over a load of stuff uh, that wasn't on the website and we got to pick um, some nice little bits up. So yeah, so this arrived today. Um, so that was last week. So always make sure that you are any, you kind of, he or she, sorry, they, um, sent me a, a message just making sure I'd be in on the Wednesday to collect my corals and I have received it by APC overnight which was 10 a.m. and yeah everything arrived fine so nicely packaged in this nice box nice polystyrene box and inside there was you know newspaper a bubble wrap everything was double bagged and tied at the top with little polystyrene blocks in it um, and it had hotties in it, hot packs, which were keeping the corals nice and warm. So there was plenty of those in there, um, and they're still warm. Um, and on top of that, they included a nice little acclimation kit. So it's just basically a bit of plastic tube in, with a knot tied in it, so that you can drip acclimate your, your corals, which is obviously very important, guys, um, to make sure you don't shock your corals. So, yeah, so what we've done is we've now floated the bags in the tank so they're up to temperature. We've popped them in a tub and we're just dripping in some of my tank water into the water that the corals came in in the bags. So yeah, so that's obviously going to take some time. So we want to do that over a period of time. And um, the reason we do that is that the water that the corals came in will have certain parameters and the water inside my system will have different parameters. So what we're trying to do is get the corals that are inside the bucket used to the parameters inside our tank before we put them in so that we don't shock them, we don't kill them. You know, they're, you know, we, we spent quite a lot of money on these things, guys. So taking an extra couple of hours to put them in your tank, I know it can be really exciting and people want to just chuck them in, but taking an extra couple of hours just to drip acclimatize them, make sure you know what you're doing, um, is always worthwhile. You don't want them to die off. So what we'll probably do in a couple of hours is we'll take the corals out of here and we will pop them in the tank. Now, when you're placing them in the tank, guys, it's really tempting when you're buying highlight corals or whatever to bang them smack bang in the middle of your system where you get the most light. That's the totally wrong thing to do. So what we should always do when we're introducing new corals is pop them into a lower light area, which we can do over here. As you see, there's no light over there. It's a lower light area in my system. So what we'll do is we'll put all the corals down there. Now, after a number of weeks, we will slowly progress the corals across the sand into a higher light area or the highest light area that the coral requires and slowly acclimatize it to the light as well. So we're not just acclimatizing the water, we're also acclimatizing it to the light. So that's also really important, guys. It's not just day one you need to think about. It's, it's week one, week two, week three, however long you want to take to move them over just to make sure that they're getting on in your system. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you're looking at the corals every day, make sure that they're not looking like they're, um, the skin's coming off them or, or anything like that, or they're bleaching or browning out or that there's ag algae attached, just to make sure that everything is okay. So what we bought, guys, was a, a, a gold chalice frag, a purple or lilac gonopora, and a three-headed, um, I would think, assume Australian torch. Um, so I've not got a torch in my tank. I had a hammer um, purchased a few weeks ago, um, which is doing really, really well. A nice chalice there as well. Uh, kind of my favorite things at the minute, chalices. Um, so we're gonna pop those in. What we should also do, guys, is make sure that you dip your corals because when you're getting them from um, other people's systems, they could have hitchhikers. So what are hitchhikers? Hitchhikers could be flatworms, zoa spiders. Um, they could be anything, really. So flatworms, um, yeah, we say flatworms, bristle worms, um, just anything that's unwanted that you that might be introduced to your, through your system from their system, um, or to which it might be attached to our flag. So we should always dip things um, 
In my case, I usually use Coral RX um, to do so, um, just a couple of minutes dip. Um, and then I also rinse them off in, in fresh water, just um, arrow just before uh, or tank water just before I uh, um, add it back into the system. So that's a really important step, guys. So thanks for tuning in today. Um, appreciate it. it's my first update I've done in a little while. Um, we've been busy with Christmas and uh, the wee man. I've actually got another little one on the way, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd to, took a half day today to collect my corals. So I thought I would do a video whilst the house was quiet. Um, I've also got the nano tank build, um, the Fluval nano tank build going at work, which I plan to do some videos on. Um, I need to go in early and do a water change, the first water change on that. So I'll probably do a video then just to update everybody on how I got to where I am, where I exactly am on it and what the sort of plans are for the system. Um, I've also, I've already upgraded the um, the circulation a bit by putting a Fluval CP1 power head in there. But I probably am going to put in a new light pricing. Um, I kind of planned on running just a soft day, but it just doesn't give you the color, uh, the colors and the, the corals um, at the minute from the kind of standard light you get there. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably put in something a bit more meaty, maybe an AI Prime, or I have a mini um, Max Spec Razor actually under here, which I run with my Refugium light that I might pop in there. So thanks for watching guys. Um, this is Thinking Reef and you're watching Callum's Reef Tank. Hit subscribe below, hit the bell button um, to be notified of new posts. If you're watching on Instagram, pop over at my page. Uh, my YouTube's on there as well. I'm trying to build that up a little bit. And if you don't follow my Instagram, jump onto my Instagram and follow my Instagram. So what will happen is once these are acclimatized and they're in the tank, I will take some nice macro shots using the awesome Arca Lens. Um, and we'll pop those up as well. That's where a lot of my, my photos come from. Um, if I've got time today, I might even get out my DSLR and take some macro shots. We'll see um, how much time I have. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, if you're new to the hobby, you might have learned something about acclimatizing acclim uh, corals. Um, yeah. Also, guys, when you're getting your, your corals, make sure you just check them when they arrive just to make sure that they are alive and they're not peeling away or melting away or anything like that. Um, usually when you buy them from somewhere decent, you know, Charterhouse and uh, Eco Marine are a reputable seller. So, but you know, people buy things on eBay and things, guys, if people are doing live arrival guarantees, they like to have a, um, a message from you pretty quick after receiving it. So just, just something to keep in mind. All right, guys, thanks for watching and happy reefing. See you later.